Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video is we are going to get under the hood on our Unify Express and we are going to talk about what the hardware looks like. Now, this question came up a lot. What kind of processor does it have? What kind of memory does it have? What kind of storage does it have? The website, the Unify store, gives us the information about the Gateway Lite, which has the exact same physical footprint as the Express. There's a little bit of a weight difference. Obviously, the Express has the, the LCM and an access point and can host the controller. So there's some different things going on in here, we think. I'm going to do this exact same experiment with this and see what's happening. But When we go to the store page, we can see on the light under the tech specs, it says it's got a dual core ARM processor at one gigahertz, one gig of RAM. Doesn't really need to worry about storage because this device um, gets adopted to another controller. It doesn't run the controller. Speaking of, the controller on this, there was some clarification from Ubiquity. This is the Express. This can manage five total devices itself and four other Unify devices. But you're really getting a twofer with this, maybe a threefer, depending on how you you use it. If you've got just one machine plugged in here, it's a switch. It's an access point and it's a firewall. At the minimum, you're getting a twofer, access point and gateway. So anyway, they're similar weights. They uh, are exact same size. 98 by 98 by 30. Let's see. 98 by 98 by 30. I didn't want to draw any direct, you know, I didn't want to assume anything. So I enabled SSH on my Unify Express. And we can come in here and we can run commands such as showing the, the, file systems in a human readable format. And that's what the H on the end of this command does. That ALH shows the file system in a human readable. So you can see over here, this does have quite a bit of onboard storage. If we want to take a look at the CPU performance and the memory, how that's configured, we can just go to top. So you can see we've got a gig of RAM and a gig of swap, right? So there's our one gig. And then what you can do is you can run LS CPU. And if LS CPU doesn't work for you, you can do an apt get or an apt install LS CPU. You can see here that it is the Qualcomm dual core processor. Topping out a little over one gigahertz. Bottom end is 800 megahertz. And then you have all the information you need to go to Qualcomm and find out more about that processor if you want to know, you know, what kind of features it can handle. So we said all that to say the hardware is pretty much the same, except that the Express has the storage because it runs the controller. So, I mean, the question got asked a lot and I didn't want to assume, so we did poke around. Now, I do have to put this disclaimer out there. Anytime you SSH into your device, and it is not under the direct guidance of Ubiquity, you are running the risk of running into something that's not supported. So if you're going to tinker around the command line, don't expect to get support. In fact, I don't know any company um, where they have, they want you to use the UI when you start doing things that, that they're not telling you to do under the command prompt that, that will you'll get very far with support. Now you could call us, we could help you tinker around, things like that. But this question came up enough that I wanted to address it. And there you have it. It's the hardware, you know, and maybe we're going to find out that the UXG Lite is harboring an access point and storage. I, I don't know. I don't know. But that should answer the question about the hardware on the Unify Express. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with Ubiquity and Amazon affiliate links where you can find all of this wonderful gear. We've got a Patreon link down there. And if you need that IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, 
someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And if we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. That is our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.